Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, part 2 of Global's 5 year anniversary is almost upon us and in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick preview and breakdown of all the upcoming events and units that we can all expect to see so that you guys are fully prepared and ready to go once it begins. Alright, now before we jump into it, I want to give a quick shout out to Pain Shop on Twitter for hooking me up with some very generous prices on my Dragonstones. If you guys are looking to save yourselves a decent amount of money on your next Dragonstone purchase, then make sure to hit them up on Twitter. You can find a link in my description down below and make sure to let them know your boy Tiger sent you. All right, so with all that said, let's get it started. When part two of the anniversary starts, the first thing that everybody can expect to see is a new special anniversary movie. And just like the first one, this one is meant to hype up the release of the upcoming units, right? So for anybody that wants to see it right now, we can watch it together. But if you guys don't want to be spoiled, you want to wait until the actual beginning of part two to watch it for yourselves, then feel free to skip ahead like 30 seconds. You'll be good to go. Okay, so let's check it out. Here we go. So there you go, not too bad overall, I uh, I think it, it looks pretty good just like the first one. I mean obviously the units are not going to be as hype, right, you can't really get to the same hype level as the Blue Fusions as you can see right here, this was the uh, Blue Fusions movie. And yeah, I mean that was like peak hype, so they can't get back there, but I'm still excited for part 2 man. Um, you saw the Broly, Chi Lai, and Lemo LR that's coming for the part 2 banner as well as the LR Goku Black, which we can now awaken with part two, with the new medals we're getting. So we'll get to that in a second. But uh, the first thing is the anniversary movie. Second thing are some new anniversary missions. Nothing too crazy here. We have some daily missions for a daily ticket, as well as some uh, anniversary coins and a stone. And they can also get some copies of the Goku, some potential orbs, some more anniversary coins. And also, now this is pretty exciting, we can get all of the 55 guaranteed LR tickets with the exception of one all right so we can get up to 54 tickets through these missions you can get one two three four five for stamina consumption as well as one more for completing all these missions and I think uh, one more for completing the Whis training event but that will put us at 54 if you did all the previous missions and we won't be able to get the final ticket to actually do the guaranteed LR multi until part three. So that kind of sucks, but I mean, nothing we can do about that. So those are the missions right there. And we're also gonna be getting another community campaign, just like the uh, Bulma's blue, what's it called again? Blue liquid something campaign, where essentially we all have to uh, do some, you know, complete some missions together, right? Like Token awaken a certain amount of characters, Extreme Z awaken a certain amount of characters, collect a certain amount of Zenny, and so on and so forth, stamina consumption. And once we complete all of these, we'll get some rewards for each step, but also, once we complete all of them, we'll get 10 Dragonstones, um, some anniversary coins, as well as one of the best wallpaper. Actually, you know what? This is the best wallpaper in the game, all right? And it's not even close. Like that Vegito and Zamasu one, we can get later on in part three, is also nice. And there's some other good ones out there. Like I really like the um, Christmas one with the Santa Goku and Chi Chi and Gohan and stuff like that. Like those are nice, but this one is just the most like, it's just the sickest one, man. If I was gonna use a wallpaper, I would use this one. Honestly, I don't like the wallpaper thing as a feature. So I usually just keep it as my team on the home screen. But if I was to use a wallpaper, I would definitely go with this one. Cause that's, that's dope. Okay. So that's the community campaign right there. And then we're also going to be getting some new stages for the Zero Mortals Plan event, which we'll get to more specifically once we go over to that page, as well as uh, some new stages for the Saiyan Trio led by Fate event, and also a new Extreme Z area event to Extreme Z Awaken, the Kid Vegeta and Raditz, as well as the Kid Broly. And then of course a new legendary summon banner, this one's a top legendary summon banner which means there's going to be two featured LRs. I did talk about this in a previous video but for anybody that missed that we are going to cover it as well in this video. 
And of course, a new stone sale, right? For us to buy stones to spend on this banner right here. I don't know the exact details for uh, these sales right now. I have to go back and look, but um, I would expect probably you know, something close to part one sales, but not quite as good. And uh, no purple stone this time. Now, for JP, they did get some kind of special collaboration with a company called Ichiban Kuji. And essentially, there were these packs you could get with 100 Dragon Stones that also gave you a ticket to summon on this special banner. And that's what this is right here. And essentially, the ticket guaranteed you one of these units. So it wasn't too bad for like, you know, newer players, but I guess, you know, for more long time players, for veteran players, you don't really need these guys. I mean, if you've been playing for a while, you should have at least one copy or multiple dupes of all these guys, right? So it wasn't that crazy, but I'm not really sure if Global's gonna get it either way, because it seems like something that would be exclusive to the JP side. And then there was an Elder Kai banner, and that's pretty much it. So let's pop over to the actual events now to go into a little bit more detail. So for the um, Zero Mortals Plan event, there were three new stages added, level 4, level 5, and level 6. And level 6 is where we can get the new medals to token awaken the uh, STR Zamasu into LR Goku Black. So that's pretty exciting. And then for the Saiyan Trio led by Fate event, we get two new stages. Actually, uh, yeah, two, two new stages, level 4 and level 5. And for level 4, we get the medals to token awaken the Kid Vegeta into Kid Vegeta and Raditz, and then for level 5, we get the medals to Token Awaken the Kid Broly into Kid Broly still, but a better version, his TUR version. And then from there, we have the Extreme Z area event, and this can only be unlocked when you complete all the levels of the uh, Saiyan Trio uh, story event, so if you guys don't get it immediately, don't worry, you do have to clear this completely. To unlock this and once you unlock this you can get the extreme z awakening medals to of course extreme z awaken the kid broly as well as the uh, kid vegeta and raditz right and uh, as far as the character pool you can use you have to build a team with these characters right here and a lot of these guys you can work on right now through the dragon ball super broly story events right so if you got to build up your uh, super saiyan blue goku super saiyan blue vegeta or this Broly, or this Gogeta, then make sure to get them done, and you will have to also include the Kid Vegeta and Raditz, as well as the Kid Broly in their TUR forms on the team to challenge the event. So once you um, are able to do that, once you build the team, you can just farm this event and uh, get all the medals you need to Extreme Z Awaken the Kid Broly and Kid Vegeta. And now let's move on to the STR Zamasu. So this is his TUR form, we can get him right now like this, but if you want to uh, Dokken Awaken him into LR Goku Black, you need 50 of the new medals from the new story event, or the new stages rather. And uh, if you guys want a full guide actually of how to get this guy to Super Attack 25 once his Extreme Z Awakening comes uh, to Global in Part 3, and uh, do that for free without using any Kai's, feel free to check out my guide video I made a couple uh, weeks ago. You can find a link somewhere above my head. Go ahead and check that out to save yourselves some Kai's. And uh, let's talk about this Goku Black. All right, so in this video, I think I'm going to be talking about his details pre-Extreme Z Awakening because we can't get the EZA until Part 3, so I'll save that for Part 3. But for now, if you Extreme Z Awaken, sorry, <laughs> Token Awaken him in Part 2 with the new medals, then his leader skill will be Time Traveler's Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 77%. His 12 key super is Black Power Ball, which causes colossal damage and lowers defense. And his uh, 18 key will raise defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And his passive is Attack and Defense plus 50%. Key plus 1 with each attack received up to 5 launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing 2 or more enemies. And then plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each final blow delivered up to 50%. So obviously this is basically when he is the one to kill an enemy, he's going to get that additional boost. And his links are going to be Godly Power, Cold Judgment, Nightmare, Dismal Future, Fear and Faith, Shattering the Limit, as well as Legendary Power. And his categories are going to be Realm of Gods, Patara, Future Saga, Dragon Ball Seekers, Time Travelers, and Inhuman Deeds. So that is the LR Goku Black for you. His stats uh, post Extreme Z Awakening are going to be really, really good, especially for a free-to-play unit. 
But uh, yeah, we'll get to those in a second, or, you know, in part three. Uh, for now, this is the Goku Black. You can expect to see in part two. And now let's move on to the Kid Vegeta. So this is the base Kid Vegeta. And then he's going to token awaken into this Kid Vegeta and Raditz. And uh, I'm assuming that everybody is going to be Extreme Z awakening them in part two. So let's just talk about the EZA details here. So leader skill is going to be joint forces, category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 77%, or extreme class key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 40%. Super attack raises attack, and this can be stacked for up to 99 turns, causes supreme damage, and lowers, uh, lowers attack. And then passive is attack and defense plus 70%, key plus 1, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20%, and chance of performing a critical hit per pure Saiyans category ally, self-excluded, attacking in the same turn. Launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when your team has another joined forces category ally attacking in the same turn. And links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Frieza's Army, Brutal Beatdown, Thirst for Conquest, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. And their categories are Pure Saiyans, Joined Forces, Youth, and Terrifying Conquerors. So that is the Kid Vegeta and Raditz once you extremely awaken them. And then let's move on to the Kid Broly here. So he's this Kid Broly that Dokkan awakens into this Kid Broly and, and Ba in the background. It should have been called like Kid Broly and Ba. I don't know why Ba's not in there. The disrespect, man, is real. Anyways, uh, when to Extreme Z awaken him, his leader skill is going to be Pure Saiyans category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or int types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. His super attack raises attack and defense. So both, so this guy obviously is, in my opinion, better just for that reason alone. It causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And passive is attack and defense plus 70% and disables enemy's guard. And then medium chance of evading enemy's attack including super attack. Deliver the final blow uh, to recover 20% HP at the end of the turn. Now in all seriousness, I do think that this kid Broly is better than Raditz and Vegeta. Raditz and Vegeta is good, like they're a good, solid free-to-play unit, but the fact that this kid stacks attack and defense, as well as has a chance to dodge, can stun the enemy, disables enemy's guard, and also can heal you for 20% HP when he kills the enemy, um, all those things combined make him, I think, just a really, really good free-to-play unit. And his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Innocence, Prodigies, Tough as Nails, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limit, and his categories are Pure Saiyans, and also youth. Okay, so now let's talk about this legendary summon banner. So this is the banner we can expect to drop at the end of July, and it's going to feature two new LRs, the Int LR Rosé, as well as the LR Broly, Chi-Li, and Lemo. Here are the rest of the featured units, and there's not too much to get excited about here. I mean, look, Wrathful Broly is amazing. Uh, Paragus can still be a, is, is still a really good support, actually, and the uh, Gawasu can be useful. Like, I'm not saying that these guys aren't good they're all like pretty decent units with the exception of the weeses which like really need extremes the awakenings or something but oh also this guy this zamasu is terrible but like this zamasu can be a good tank these guys aren't bad so like i'm not saying they're bad i'm just saying like it's hard to get excited for units that are on every single banner right so um it is a legendary summon banner i've gone into detail about exactly why i feel like most people should actually skip these banners or rather this banner and uh, if you want a full breakdown, then feel free to go check out that video I made uh, earlier in the month, somewhere above my head, about why global players should probably skip this. Um, there are, of course, a lot of LR characters in the unfeatured pool. Uh, the question that I'm sure a lot of people are asking right now is whether or not LR UI Goku will be featured here. And I'm going to say most likely... Most likely not. I think it's a little bit too soon. I think Bandai is trying to save that for, um, you know, another celebration or something like that. Maybe they think that the double LR here is already hype enough for people to summon, so they don't need to include UI Goku in the unfeatured pool. I just feel like, I mean, obviously I hope he's there. Like, fingers crossed. I really wish he's there, but I think it's unlikely, man. I don't think Bandai is going to allow us to pull LR UI Goku on this banner this early. But anyways... That's the banner, let's talk about the units. So, Int LR Rosé is a future Saga leader, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 130%, or extreme Int types, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100%, is 12 key, 
greatly raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage, and the 18 key greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Is passive is attack and defense plus 66%, plus an additional key plus 6, or sorry, plus an additional attack plus 6 per key meter bar up to 120%. So essentially, each key he has gives him 6% attack up to 120%, but since each boost is calculated separately, he's actually getting a total boost of 265.2% at 20 key, which is insane. And then he's also getting key plus 2 with each final blow delivered up to 6, and then recovers 6% HP at the end of the turn in which an attack was received. And his active skill is a rage, uh, rage mode mechanic where he rages and can be activated when HP is 66% or less, starting from the 6th turn from the start of battle once only. And his links are Super Saiyan, Fear and Faith, Kamehameha, Dismal Future, Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And he's in uh, lots of categories, Realm of Gods, Batara, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Kamehameha, Exploding Rage, as well as Inhuman Deeds. Now, once he rages, he of course becomes immortal for one turn, and he gets some crazy stats up to 65,000 attack at max potential. And uh, as far as his super attacks go, they both cause destructive damage, which is a crazy multiplier. There's no percentage here, but it, it does a lot of damage. And then his passive is key plus one in addition per key sphere obtained, attacks effective against all types. So that's the Rose for you, an absolutely um, crazy unit from a damage output perspective. He can be a decent tank if you let him super first before taking any attacks, but uh, otherwise he might be a little bit squishy on the harder events but uh, overall a really really good unit definitely one that everybody would want right but I, I just feel like given what's probably coming after the anniversary um, it just might not be worth their stones right now but that's just me all right that's just my opinion go check out the video now moving on to Broly, Chi-Lai, and Lemo their leader skill is going to be movie bosses category key plus 4 HP attack and defense plus 130 percent or extreme fizz types E plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Uh, super attack, 12 key is surprise attack, which greatly raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and lowers enemies attack. And then the 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And the passive is attack and defense plus 15% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 5%, and key plus 2 per key sphere obtained with two or more fizz key spheres obtained. All allies attack plus 39% with two or more AGL or STR key spheres obtained. And then all allies defense plus 39% with two or more tech or int key spheres obtained. And then evades enemies attack including super attack with seven or more key spheres obtained. So obviously a little bit confusing. There's a lot of stuff going on but uh, if we break it down it's essentially 15% attack and defense per key sphere, no matter what type of key sphere you get. But if you get Fizz key spheres, then they get an additional attack and defense plus 5% and key plus 2 for every sphere obtained. And then if you give them AGL or SDR key spheres, they give all allies attack, and, uh, attack plus 39%. If you give them tech or int key spheres, they give all allies defense plus 39%. Alright, so. Um, they can either be a supporter for attack or defense or just be more offensive depending on what type of orb you give them. And they also get guaranteed dodge with 7 or more spheres obtained regardless of what the typing is. Okay, so overall a really really good unit. Link skills are Brainiacs, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. The categories are Movie Bosses and Joined Forces. So one issue with this unit is definitely the lack of categories. Only two categories here. I mean, they're very good on movie bosses. They're very good on joint forces. But still, like you would like to be able to run them on some more teams, some different kinds of teams, right? So that's a little bit disappointing. Definitely one um, strike against the unit. But that aside, fantastic unit. Really, really strong. A lot of fun to use as well. And uh, that is pretty much part two, guys. All right, we got the two new LRs coming. We got the LR banner. Um, the double LR banner coming at the end of the month. We have the EZAs for well, Awakenings and EZAs for the Kid Broly, as well as the Kid Vegeta and Raditz. We got the Awakening for LR Goku Black, and we also have some new stages. Whoa! What just happened there? We have some new stages 
for uh or sorry we have the new extreme z area event as well as new stages for the story events for some extra stones i guess and also uh maybe this banner but i think it's unlikely maybe we'll get a different banner maybe a different kind of collab with some other company who knows right that's kind of up in the air but aside from that there will be a new stone sale um a new elder kai banner i'm sure as well as some new missions and some new ways to get free dragon stones through social media campaigns as well as this community campaign and uh, new wallpaper which is super super dope new anniversary movie and that's it guys that is today's preview slash breakdown hope you guys enjoyed it there could be some other stuff that's not covered here that uh, may happen as well but obviously at this point in time this is all i know and oh of course if we somehow hit top grossing for multiple regions with the Rosé and Broly banner, then we will get top grossing rewards as well. I'm a little bit skeptical about that happening because there just doesn't seem to be a lot of hype around these new LRs, you know, the uh, Broly and, and Rosé, but I, I could be wrong. You never know. Maybe France will get us there and we'll get seven stones or something like that. But either way, that is today's update video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.